Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a possible ransom worm called WCRY. The big news today by far that's resounding around the world is a new piece of ransomware called WCRY or called WannaCry or WannaCryptor. This piece of ransomware has infected many big companies and organizations and seems to be spreading like wildfire. So far it's affected 16 national health service uh, hospitals in the UK. It's affected telcos and ISPs like Telefonica in Spain and it's also affected FedEx. According to various malware researchers, it seems to have affected at least 75,000 computers in over 99 different countries. Now do know that researchers are still analyzing this malware and more importantly trying to figure out how it's spreading so we don't know all the details. At a high level this looks very similar to other ransomware. In fact it's based on a previous variant of WCRY which came out in February. If it infects your computer it's going to encrypt a number of your files and uh, change your background and pop up a window saying you have to pay around $300 worth of Bitcoin in order to get your files back. However, the one new and different thing which could attribute to its fast spread is many sources claim that this particular ransomware is leveraging a Windows SMB vulnerability in order to spread within networks, typically within internal networks, because most people don't allow SMB on the internet. In any case, the vulnerability in question here is Microsoft's MS-17-010. This is a vulnerability in Windows Server Message Block, which is one of the ways to do network sharing on Windows computers and file sharing and things like that. And in fact, this is one of the vulnerabilities that was leaked in the NSA leaks a while back from Shadow Brokers. So this is actually an old leaked NSA vulnerability, which most people should have patched a few months ago. Nonetheless, it seems the people behind WCRY are somehow leveraging this vulnerability to help the ransomware spread. Now, I mentioned ransomworm earlier. One of my predictions this year was to expect the first ever ransomworm, a piece of ransomware that not only infected your computer, but would then use things like exploits to spread internally to all other computers in your network. That said, some of the researchers out there have mentioned that the ransomware itself may not be leveraging this exploit. It could actually be some sort of spreader or other mechanism that's leveraging this exploit. So it may not directly be a, a ransom worm, a self-spreading worm. It may need a spreader to use this exploit as well. In any case, this is a very serious threat that's spreading very quickly. As I mentioned, it's affected many UK hospitals, and some of those hospitals have had to shut down and turn down patients, according to uh, many of the reports out there. It's even been seen on some of the scheduling displays in the Frankfurt train station. So it is affecting organizations in many different countries. So that brings us to how to protect yourself. And really it comes down to layered defense. The same layered ransomware defense as I've been talking about every time I talk about the latest ransomware variant. Now before I get into preventative defenses, the first thing you need to do is make sure to have a backup system. As I've said with all ransomware, if you at least back up your systems, you can recover from any sort of disaster, whether it be ransomware or something else. The other thing to do, and this is very important, is to always patch. MS-17010, this old NSA exploit, was patched earlier this year. If you had applied that patch, this ransomware can't use it against you. If you haven't gone out and applied that patch, you need to do so immediately. Now that said, I will point out that apparently some of the computers in the UK hospitals were uh, vulnerable to this particular exploit because they were still running Windows XP. XP is now a unsupported operating system. There's no patches available for that. But that is one of the issues with running old unsupported operating systems. So if you're still running XP or other old OSs, you really should try to upgrade if you can. Now coming to preventative defenses, whether they're on our WatchGuard Firebox or any other, the first thing is Gateway Antivirus does help a little, or any antivirus. That said, do no ransomware nowadays are very evasive. Uh, the bad guys can repack encrypt these ransomware variants so quickly that signatures tend not to keep up. Many of the AV vendors out there, the legacy-based AV vendors, were not able to catch this ransomware uh, day one. That's why it's very important to also have advanced malware protection. In WatchGuard, we have something called APT Blocker. This uses a sandbox analysis. We do full system behavioral analysis where we can actually run new threats in our sandbox and we can catch them based on the behaviors. Bad guys can change the way a ransomware might look on a binary level, but they can't change what it does. So advanced malware protection is your best bet to catching ransomware. 
On top of that, by the way, things like intrusion prevention. WatchGuard's intrusion prevention service has many signatures that can actually catch the uh, NSA exploit that this particular ransomware is rumored to use. So to summarize, backup, patch, use gateway antivirus, but more importantly, use advanced malware protection and turn on your IPS. The one other tip is if this particular ransomware is using that SMB exploit, you really don't want to allow SMB traffic from the internet. Hopefully no one in the world allows port 135 through 139 and 445 in from the internet, but you certainly need to turn that off if you are. On top of that, you might be able to mitigate internal spreading if you actually segment your network and have IPS IPS in between your segments. Anyways, this is a pretty critical story. I think we're going to be hearing a lot about this in the next coming weeks because it has affected so many people and it has affected them so quickly. It might be confirmation of a ransomware, which was one of my predictions. As an aside, I also had a prediction that cyber cold war would have civilian casualties. And by that, I meant that nation state zero day would somehow leak and then be used against private citizens. If it's true that this is an NSA exploit, that's another prediction that might be confirmed. So long story short, use layered defense and protect yourself from WCRY. Oh yeah, one last aside. For the next two weeks, I'll be traveling in Europe for WatchGuard. And while I'll try to get to the video uh, once in a while, I may not be able to do videos very regularly for the next two weeks, but I'll be sure to come back in a few weeks. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.